Okay, I got the, uh, the first one out. The problem with this last one is I can't get the, the hex head in there. I think that's why I started to strip. Because it was in there far enough to grab a little, but not enough. Certain of these heads have had crap in them and probably have a lot more rust on them, so they they don't necessarily hold up to Okay, that's, uh, that's the full dismantling of this, whatever this thing is. Some kind of shear, I think. Got a piece of brass. There's another two pieces of brass. Bigger. So uh, let me get the Okay, so here's the caliper. Okay, so this this part is this part is actually uh, kind of wedge shaped, so it's you're not going to be able to see that, I'm sure. We'll see. That's uh, just over a half inch, and then on the shorter side, it's uh, you know, four hundredths, high three, so it's three eighths up to half inch. And that's a wedge shape, and this is this is half inch. Yeah, this is half inch angle. Yeah. Half inch by four inch. Yeah, four by four by half inch. That's a big heavy angle. That's for sure. So what I got out of this uh, those two parts there. And then then we got uh, these two one inch by about a foot, a little more than a foot one inch thick plate with some machining that's got a brass insert same, same with that these are what held the ends of this shaft so I got this big Heavy ass. That's over an inch, I'm not sure. Maybe an inch and a quarter. 
the shaft. This part is even bigger. Yeah, that's an inch and a half, maybe two. Kind of hard to tell. But anyway, got two gears, one on each end. Then these, uh, what are those, half inch? Yeah, those are half inch plate. Um, this is a two inch solid piece except for it's bored, it's got an inch bore in it here and then it's got like an inch and a half, whatever that thing is there. One and a half inch. So it's got the one and a half bore through there, and it's about three inches by three inches. Uh, and same thing here, this gear, which engage this gear. This is an inch and a half plate machine. These are uh, three eighths. And that one's a half inch. These are quarter inch brackets. Drill, those are going to come in handy. Oh, and the half inch plate, it's about eight inches, nine inches by about a foot. And this part right here, this is, uh, that's two inch by one inch one and a half inch um, angle and it's been machined end part and I don't not really sure I can't figure out how this is on there it looks like it I don't know if it's rusting there but it, I don't see any welding area so it must have been machined from something heavier this might this whole thing might have come out of a block but you can tell by looking at these things, look at all the fasteners, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 fasteners just on that piece there. Like I said, there's at least it's close to 100 fasteners. I haven't counted them. But the whole thing weighs just over 140 pounds. Which, uh, oh I didn't show you the, the largest piece, which did have some welding on it. is there there's the largest piece may come apart if I break the weld it's welded on the bottom this bottom piece is welded this piece to this piece right there and there that's the only weld I could find on it anywhere and this is a half inch plate half inch plate um, this is That's three eighths angle, I think. It's tough to see this in the. Uh... It's half inch, so the whole thing is half inch. Um, oh, it's welded on the bottom, and it's, so this whole thing is all welded. Yeah, so I'd have to grind the welds out, but they're they're just um, an inch of weld in two spots on the bottom and one spot on each side. 
So that'll come apart. Um, and then you can see there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. It's over 30 fasteners in this thing to hold all this together. So uh, hopefully it's not rusted through. I don't think it is. It's got some good surface rust in certain spots, most of it not that bad. And um, it should make really good stuff to make things. And uh, well, here's my question. I guess it's kind of a statement. Um, Sorry about all the jiggling.